Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Rhythmy Note 8. This time we have HyperOS 2.0 based on Android 14. So many of you actually asking me to review HyperOS 2.0 for this device. And if you don't like AOSP based Android ROM, you can go with this one. This one is the finest version of HyperOS 2.0 for Rhythmy Note 8. So let's check what we are getting with this ROM about phone. And if we check details in phone specs. So as you can see here, HyperOS version 2.0, Android 14, and the security patch level as you can see here, 5th of April 2025. So that's what we are getting. And the setting panel is something like this. It's pretty much similar to Mi UI. And the notification panel is, as you can see here, pretty much similar to HyperOS 2.0. So it looks good. And the animations are working pretty well. So as you can see here, it looks good. And so animations are good although i have already disabled all the animation but still the animations are going on maybe i have to disable them from developer setting to completely turn them off if you want to get better experience out of this rom disable animation otherwise the rom feel sluggish so let's talk about other things the wi-fi bluetooth and everything are working perfectly fine no issue even bo lte bo wi-fi both of them working in the more connectivity option we do have few option here as you can see we are not getting any kind of interconnectivity feature on this ROM. I think it's better to not to have interconnectivity feature because usually they don't work. So they are not here. That's good actually. In the personalized section as you can see here we have few options like wallpaper and we do have AI dynamic wallpaper. You can use your one or you can select so as you can see here like live wallpaper actually and there are few built-in wallpapers as you can see here and you can download as you're liking theme section i have already installed few themes here as you can see here this one is miui version 2 so it looks good actually and i really like that and even you don't really need to log into your me account to download any theme or wallpaper so that's pretty good and in the lock skin section as you can see here race to your work double tap to your work all those things are available and all of those actually working pretty well Obviously, double tap to sleep is not a Bible in HyperOS, but double tap to work is working, so as you can see, working. And as we are using HyperOS 2.0, we do have few lock screen options. So if I press and hold and unlock it, so as you can see here, those things also a Bible. Slower side, but all of them a Bible. You can choose up to your liking. So you can you can choose this one, apply. So they are working. And there are few more options available here notification and status bar we do have few options here like notification style and app notification all those things pretty much similar to all other miui based rom display and brightness adaptive brightness and everything working perfectly fine i haven't faced any issue here and there are few options like display resolution option obviously not going to work because this is a ported rom so that's why we are seeing those settings Sound and vibration working perfectly fine, no issue. So, as you can see, no issue with sound and vibration. In terms of fingerprint and face data, I have already enrolled fingerprint and pretty fast and working perfectly fine, as you can see here. So, you can use fingerprint and face to unlock also a Bible. It will be a little bit slower side, but it is a Bible. Battery backup is actually pretty good on this ROM. As a hyperverse build, we do have few things here actually, like battery protection option is available, and also we can see battery health. My device is showing wrong battery health because obviously this is a ported ROM, so there are few bugs. But the battery backup is pretty good, and we do have other feature like additional feature. If you go there, we can see clean cache option and cold and dual mode option, and also schedule power on off. So all those things are available. So pretty good in terms of battery backup and works really well. In the additional setting, we do have few other options like gesture shortcut, floating windows, second space and all those things, pretty much similar. That's it in the setting, nothing much actually. So the animations, many of you actually asking me how about animations. Animations are pretty slow outside, so if you install this ROM, disable all the animation to get better experience out of this ROM. So in terms of application, we are not getting a lot here. This is heavily deploaded ROM and 
few things are really good about this ROM actually. So first of all, let's talk about the camera. So we are getting a modified version of MIUI camera, which comes with Leica features, authentic and vibrant. My main issue with this camera application is that when I take picture, it does work. We can't switch lens. So there is issue and we can't take 48 megapixel picture. And whenever I'm taking picture, there is no setting to change the resolution to 12 megapixel. So it is by default taking 8 megapixel picture. So if I show you that, so as you can see here, 8 megapixel. And if I take 48 megapixel picture, it takes only 2 megapixel picture as you can see. So these are the issue with camera application. And I did install a Gcam here. Gcam is working perfectly fine, but still this one also taking picture in 8 megapixel mode. There is no setting a Bible to change it. So there is some issue going on. So as you can see here, Gcam is also working. So the camera is one of the biggest downside of this ROM. In terms of other application, we do have gallery application here. So if I try to edit any picture here, so as you can see, edit option, it will ask me to download the plugin. But I did try that. Although it download the plugin, but still it does not work. It will always ask you to download the plugin. So editor is not working. Hyper themes is available, so you can download themes without any kind of issue. In terms of calling, Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi working, but there are few issues. First of all, if I click here, it should show all the history of this call, but it does not show. Although Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi working, and recording is also working, but I could not able to find the recording. I don't really know where they are saving those files, but I could not able to find. In terms of photos. So we are getting Google Photos unlimited storage. So let me show you that. So that is pretty good. So account is unlimited. So that's a Bible. And one of the biggest advantage of this bill is that it is coming with safety net feature. So if I show you that setting and about, so as you can see here, so device is certified. So you can use bank application on this ROM. And I did install a bank application here, as you can see, as CVZ. So if I open it, So as you can see here, it is showing me the option to login. Usually it does not show, it will ask me to disable something like modified custom ROM or anything like that. It will notify that. But here, I can actually log in. Now it is asking me to use my phone data to log in. But anyway, so bank app is working. That is one of the biggest advantage actually of this ROM. So if you really need a HyperOS ROM for your device, which can run bank application, then you can go with this build. This is pretty good actually. In terms of gaming, the ROM is doing pretty well. I did play Call of Duty here in default setting. The gaming performance was good. So you can do gaming on this ROM. And it is a pretty well balanced ROM, although we are having some issues here and there. But I think if you don't like AOSP based ROM, you can go with this ROM. It is a pretty good ROM. And the downloading of this ROM will be in the description below. You can download it from there. So I'm not a developer of this ROM. I'm just reviewing this ROM. So kudos to the developer. They're doing pretty well job here actually. And still we are getting a lot of custom ROM for Redmi Note 8. That's really good. So that's all about HyperOS 2.0 for Redmi Note 8. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.